Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Robin Trader. I'm your host, Yassine. I'm not a financial expert or a life professional. If you're thinking about investing in the stock market, consult one and invest at your own risk. I hope everybody had had a great weekend. I hope people uh, got to enjoy some of their profits. Maybe you went out and uh, uh, you know had some tacos at Nobu. Maybe you bought those nice shoes and Nikes that you wanted to buy. Or maybe you just uh, are ready to put it back into the market itself and you had a second thought. Hey, Hodling diamond hands is what I'm gonna do now. GameStop is trading at three hundred and twelve dollars with the ticker symbol GME. And if you don't know about uh, what GameStop is or what it has been doing for the last few months, uh, you've been un living under a rock, and maybe you are a Melvin yourself. Now, GameStop had a a a, a great chance of reaching. Uh, a thousand very very soon maybe this week will be the day where we hit that four figure mark and there is rumors and and rallying in the wall street bet reddit or subreddit itself and many other subreddits that gamestop is actually maybe changing the price target to five thousand and if that could be done uh well it's actually uh, expected at this time now of course you can only buy about one share of gamestop in Robinhood itself. Now, this these uh, are are just strategies that I think that you know the big dog, the the big bully, the mafiosos themselves, all the 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 hedge funds are pulling all their little cards and all their favors. So they are trying to stop us. And of course, you can always go to Webull. You can also use public. Now, unfortunately, you cannot buy GameStop on Cash App itself. But listen, if you do walk into any local mall and go to your GameStop store, you can actually buy the GameStop stock uh, at the store itself. All you have to do is just trade your PS5 for it. Just kidding. You don't. So the only ways you could buy this Webull public course fidelity and some other brokers now you could buy one share um, uh, in um, robin itself no more fractional shares um, I hope and I think you can also buy in SoFi itself. Now I'll leave some links in the uh, in the description down below. You could you're more than welcome to you know use my referral links and you'll probably get some you know free share or some five dollar or so. And you can also join in the movement. This is history itself. Now I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why I think GameStop is actually gonna have a big turnaround in the next, in the near future. Not only because you know of their uh, big. Uh, a stock rally uh, that we we're going through right now, but also because of changes that may occur. Now, the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is, of course, their new CEO, the handsome and the most, you know, gracious Ryan Cohen. Now, Ryan Cohen was the CEO and founder of Chewy themselves, and he actually took this company from 200 million dollars in sales in 2013 to 3.5 billion dollars in 2018. And what was his, uh, you know, uh, mindset? It was being frugal, and frugal is what you need to be. You know, stop eating food. You don't need water. Just get some GameStop stock. That's what we need to be thinking about. Now, they only spent 130 million dollars in capital to get to that number. Now, if he puts the same mindset in GameStop, uh, the company itself, we will see some crazy gains in the near future. Now, there's a little bit more about what he did as well. Now, he was fortunate to find employees at Chewy who worked relentlessly to grow the company from three-person operation to a household brand with more than 10,000 employees. Now, listen to this as well. They could have easily, they could have easily brought up, you know, fees and prices and all that. But listen, I mean, this guy is just the man. Now he says here, the team worked 16-hour days uh, for weeks until our supply chain was humming. Everyone from the fulfillment staff to the directors and executives were committed to Chewy's success. You don't get that level of dedication by leading through fear. My father always said you can you catch more bees with honey than with vinegar. Now, this is what I love as well. He says we did not we didn't disrupt the pet industry by accident. This man has a uh, a, a, a talent. And what I also like and I think is very very um you know insightful is that he talks about how his dad uh, was a a very uh, motivator of investing in the stock market okay, and i'll come back to this in the next few uh, articles or so but a few things about what cohen uh, thinks or or wants to do one thing is of course they closed a bunch of stores they actually the company actually recently announced that four to 450 stores are going to be closing and all signs point to gamestop sharing the fate of blockbuster but we're not following blockbuster because we are the generation where we're bringing vintage clothes back 
You know, we're not letting people throw away, you know, our moms and dads' nice tees. And we're bringing back, you know, bucket hats and, and trucker hats and, 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 you know, pedal motorcycles and mopeds. We do not leave the good times leave. Now, not only that, but Cohen also hopes to expand GameStop's online presence by offering an online uh, a trade-in system and more game streaming services the former would uh, um would require gamestop to rebuild their trading system and this is not a bad time at all now uh, we we haven't really got any big announcements from gamestop themselves and this is actually i think good because we know that they're working hard and long uh, under now one of the one of the things gamestop actually makes revenue from is they actually make about 50 percent margins on all their trading games and and what i think gamestop at least has somewhat of a uh, of a following of is Chegg. if you ever seen this company check you probably have if you're cheating on your homework you know i, I see you guys you know uh, i mean i've almost almost aced all my classes i've only gotten b but you know it was it was one of those weird uh, art classes uh, i can't draw guys don't don't sue me check is a you know mere uh book selling and buying uh website you can also get your homework done by you know professional uh, uh either students or tutors or whatever but one of these things, you know, selling and buying your books, of course you can do it on Amazon. Amazon started buying and selling books, but this company is disrupting the, uh, this industry. And you can look at their stock value. This thing went from a $4 stock in 2016 all the way up to $95, grown $1,500. Now, this thing didn't have a short squeeze or some kind of, you know, uh, a rally like we're having. This thing is just did hard work and worked on what they're trying to do now now a few things are going to help uh, uh gamestop in the near future one of them being their earnings their earnings are going to come and we always anticipate the fourth quarter to be in the best now you can see here they're always kind of been a little bit worse in the second and the first and the third but the fourth quarter has always been that big you know that big jumper now this is going to come in the next few uh, weeks or so, I think around March 16th or 15th. Uh, so we are anticipating a good fourth quarter. Now, this is going to help us even more get to that $1,000 price target. Now, not only that, but I do think that, you know, in, in the short term, I think GameStop, I think, you know, once they pass that $1,000 price target, I want and I, I'd hope that, you know, GameStop takes advantage of at least selling some of their stake or at least maybe doing some kind of stock offering where they can sell some uh, market share to at least pay some of their debt. Because if they can get rid of debt, we can actually, you know, have one of those uh, uh, perfect, near perfect uh, 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 revenues where we're not paying no interest. And getting rid of interest is the first step of, 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 of succeeding. Now, the next thing I think actually GameStop will, will, will be better at is focusing on the esports uh, market. Focusing on the east. Now, GameStop already, you know, says power to the gamers or whatever they say. Uh, and they used to have power up reward cards and all that. And it was great and all. And they were one of the first to, you know, give you points just coming back. And I think another thing they can do is somehow, some way, start to connect with all the esports gamers, whether it's uh, you know your 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 favorite YouTuber, Minecraft, or whatever it is, or maybe having tournaments. I mean, I know they already have a a big Texas, um, big Texas center where you can go play and and, and learn and 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 uh, you know get ready to actually compete. And if you see here, you know, the esports market is actually growing right now. It's at $1.1 billion in 2019 or beforehand, and it's growing about 24% each year. So, uh, you know, if if they can hold a, I mean, and I don't really see it, any, anybody who's taken in a big, like a big name who holds uh, esports tournaments or, or the whole market itself. So there's a chance, I think, for GameStop to take the time, you know. The online community already already loves GameStop, uh, and I think if if they come in and say, "Hey, listen, guys, we're introducing this, this, this," and I know Cohen, Cohen himself, if he can sell pet animals, you know, if he can, his, I mean, pet supplies, he can sell uh, esports. You know, uh, like uh, what's his name said, Jay Z. Uh, I'm not a business man. I'm a business man, and I think Cohen is the business. Now, if we look at the next slide itself, we'll see that GME stock actually had short interest of 67.98 million shares as of November 30th, and that's about 128% of the stock's freely trading shares or float. So, they actually was oversold, and I'll explain to you guys what 
uh, uh, JME short squeeze kind of looks like. But this is what I actually kind of find very interesting. And it's that RC Ventures reported a 12.9 stake on Monday. And it was about, uh, I think I forgot what date it was exactly. But this was actually after RC Ventures had actually previously disclosed a 9.98 position on September 21st. So this is where I think it's very interesting. And I'm not trying to create any conspiracy theories. And if you made it this far in the video, please subscribe, uh, like the video, and comment down uh, comment down in the section uh, hey do you think that somehow some way Ryan Cohen you know from his dad explaining to him what the stock market is I mean you can see here he said when I was 13 he gave me a chart comparing real estate to stock market do you think he listened to Michael Burry and he saw deep effing value on reddit and saw that hey if I become the CEO and I became become the major holder of this stock, that I can push the short squeeze even higher than ever. Now, I'm not trying to say anything, but going from a 9.98 to a 12.9 in GameStop, where GameStop was actually going through a, a steep decline, do you not see maybe somehow the man who actually was uh, taught how to trade stocks shot, saw an opportunity to come in and capitalize on a short squeeze. Now, Michael Burry talked about, uh, Michael Burry, I mean, has had many, and if you say Michael Burry is one of the greatest investors, I, I beg to differ. He's had many actually bad calls, like Netflix going down and all that. But, you know, uh, what do they say? A, a wrong clock is right uh, twice a day. Do you guys think that maybe Michael uh, Ryan Cohen saw that that extra two 2.92% will help him, you know, make a fortune. I mean, now he's made more money in GameStop, technically, than his uh, whole Chewy. And he grew Chewy out of his, you know, blood, uh, sweat, and tears. So, what do you think? Now, let me explain to you by, like, a small little way how this whole uh, short selling is going and how it's, it's kind of working out. Now, at first glance, it might seem like you could never have more than 100% of a company's share sold, uh, shares sold short. Now, this is how it works. As an example, take a situation involving four investors, all right? Annie owns shares of GameStop, and Annie and her broker have an agreement that allows the broker to lend Annie shares to short sellers. So, it lends them to Bob, who subsequently sells those borrowed shares short in hopes that GameStop share price will fall. An investor named Chris ends up buying those shares, right, from Bob. However, Chris has no way of knowing that those shares have been borrowed from Annie. To Chris, there's just like any other share so chris actually thinks he owns the actual uh, share itself now more uh in this example the same shares end up getting borrowed and sold uh no i apologize more importantly if chris has the same kind of agreement then chris's broker can lend out those shares to yet another investor diane another gamestop bear can borrow those shares and sell them short in this example the same shares end up getting borrowed and sold twice right because uh and he sells them to Bob. Bob borrows them to sell them to Chris. Chris is actually has borrowed uh, uh, borrowed shares and sells them to Diane. Now Diane can do the same thing. Now the short interest volume these uh, transactions add to the total is twice the number of shares actually involved. You can therefore see that if this happened throughout the market, total share interest would eventually exceed the number of shares outstanding and approach two hundred percent. Now, this is what's incredible. Now, given this ability to multiply the number of available shares into massive short positions, a short squeeze could have a cascade effect. When GameStop shares price go up, both Bob and Diane are under pressure to cover their position. Yet, to do so, they each have to find available, available. Now, when you're, of course, at 128% float like um, GameStop is at, you're not gonna find those extra shares, and 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 there is no way unless the only way this could happen is if GameStop somehow issue more shares, 
correct? Which I doubt they'll do, but maybe they'll be forced because now we can see that, you know, big media, we can see that big hedge funds are putting out their cards and we know, you know, people are very, very easily manipulated. I mean, they're just like that. And let me tell you, show you a, a few other things. Now, look at here. Goldman Sachs says that this is the biggest short squeeze in 25 years with, short, with shortage stocks up 98%. No, I just want to let you know that Goldman Sachs it has actually shorted the stock itself, correct? And I, I, I mean, I'm, I, I tried to find, uh, but they want me to freaking pay for Forbes and all that. And you know, I, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm not rich. I mean, I cannot afford Forbes uh, subscription. But Goldman Sachs. Now, another thing as well is you can see here that short selling hedge funds have suffered a market to market loss of, two, of almost 20 billion dollars year to date in the brick and mortar video game retail this is just a gamestop including a nearly eight billion dollar loss on friday as the stock kept ripping higher according to data from the s3 partners now i just want to tell you guys one thing that do not believe none of these guys nobody knows exactly how many shares are are, are, so, uh, are so short all right, it can be either even higher. I mean, because I saw charts at 168% in November 12th. So, will the GameStop short selling ever stop or short squeeze ever stop? No, because they'll never be. There is no shares. The way they're doing it is they stop the stock market. Uh, they stop the, the the stock from being bought on Robinhood and all those because they wanted to buy time. They needed time to buy because then they were able to actually buy the actual share itself because people were forced to sell. So if people are forced to sell, now they can buy and cover their positions. The problem is we held and we hodled and that's what we love. Now, you can see here in this website as well, another one. Uh, I mean, the media is just pushing a wrong, uh, I think, narrative. Now, look at this, 88.6% here. I thought Goldman Sachs said 98%. Now, this is just unbelievable. Now, let me tell you guys, one time this happened, and this happened for Volkswagen and Volkswagen in 2008. 2008, nobody had, you know, this was the beginning of the iPhone. GameStop can go to the, not even the moon. I mean, this thing can take us to in the six figure mark now look at this now the squeeze happened in 2008 and people were the, the i mean not people when i say people i mean uh uh, uh hedge funds were were actually shorting volkswagen itself and it was volkswagen became the most valuable automaker on the planet thanks to its stock price to have in skyrocketed with while the short position had ballooned to 12 percent of outstanding shares this is 12 percent imagine what over 100% can take us. They took the stock, correct? They took the stock from 30 to $1,000, $1,000. And Porsche had effectively made more money in trading the stock than in selling cars. And it, it not dissimilar with what has been happening with Tesla stock in the recent month, either with Tesla becoming the world's most valuable automaker. The common thread is that those who had been shorting Tesla stock over the past few years have absorbed significant losses in the process spread out over a longer period of time. Now, people that, that, that see GME at $312, when I say people, I mean hedge funds, what are they thinking? They're gonna borrow the stock at 312, selling it, at, uh, sell it at 312, and hope to buy it back later on. The problem is we're never gonna let the stock go down. And the longer they have to hold the position, and of course when they when when they have to when they have days to cover and they have to, uh, you know, their thing expires and they have to actually buy back the stock, we're gonna keep raising it higher. And they're just even propelling the stock itself to go up. When you're over a hundred percent, and 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 your your price target is a thousand. Maybe we should raise the price target because when Volkswagen was at 12% and they went to 1,000, where do we go at 128? Where do we go? So please do not listen to any news you read. This can be your favorite talk shows. This can be Wendy Williams for all I care. This can be Steve, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy who does uh, Family Feud. This could be your 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 priest. These guys will come into your house and change your parents' mindset. They will change your spouse's mindset. They will change your pet's mindset. Do not listen to anybody. Hoddle with diamond hands. This is the time to like think of yourself as a warrior and you're in the front lines. You're not going to let go until we are done. That's it. Because, I mean, we are so into this that 
Go make a Webull account. Trade before uh, before the market opens up. 4 a.m. is when Webull opens up. I, I mean, go in, buy as many shares as you can, and, and hodl, and, and do this at your own, of course, you know, precaution and, and only do this with money that you can that you can lose because if you make money congrats but if you lost anything remember this this was a donation to culture you literally are in history you don't want to be that guy you know in 2035 or 2500 when the aliens come and take us over uh, and be that guy that didn't really do anything when the GameStop rally was going on join the market i know dodgecoin was a good thing but gamestop is an even better thing so i hope you guys trade well i hope you guys do really really good in the market on uh you know uh, tomorrow morning uh, and listen webull there's Publix. there's also fidelity there's also many other ones i don't use the other ones and the other ones don't really have referral uh, uh um uh, what is it called referral uh links or maybe i've already kind of like used up all the phones you can only like refer so many people until they don't let you refer anymore or they, they don't give you anything so listen find a way to get gamestop stuck and hold it because this is gonna go to the moon the only way they're gonna stop us is if they t somehow create new shares which gamestop could and last time i was right about the the the, the stock being stopped uh, to buy so maybe i'll be right about gamestop issuing new stock and if that happens i mean listen we can't trust anybody anymore.